Hello everyone, how are you all? This video is all about how to start minimalism. Here I am going to share 10 points with you. These 10 points I personally tried in my life and it has been so helpful in my life. Hope this video will be helpful for you also. Let's get into the video now. The first point being it starts from you. Yes, it starts from you. Maybe it's from your wardrobe or from your kitchen. You can't ask your family members to follow your style of living. Uh, maybe in the near future they may get inspired from you and they may start to follow you. So you do your style of minimalism and let them follow their style. So minimalism is all about giving time and taking it slowly. And the second point being discarding the duplicates. Before I used to have so many chargers, cable wires or headphones which we don't really use and when it comes to makeup products I used to have so many shades of lipsticks and when it comes to kitchen I used to have around like 10 knives, uh, almost like uh, half of the knives won't even cut properly. Then we mindfully started discarding the broken or the products which we are not using and it helped us so much and the third point being creating a separate savings account um, so whenever i wanted to buy something which is not so really important i just simply transfer the money to my uh, minimalistic account so by seeing the account grows in front of your eyes gives a positive feeling of accomplishment so if i really need something i'll just go ahead and buy and i don't uh, even regret for it but i make sure that the products i'm buying are of perfect quality and it lasts longer so the fourth point being little control over everything my parents in-laws and my partner know me very well that uh, i won't acknowledge the material things happily so instead they started giving me uh, experience as a gift uh, so it may be a uh, going out or spending time with family or going for a dinner or visiting a new place completely or it may be anything and the important point is started to say uh, no so I say no only for myself and not for my partner I may not love the things but obviously he may love so let's take in charge of only me not us and the fifth point being not judging this I have done many times and I am feeling bad about that now so while decluttering you are going to realize that you have wasted a lot of money on things you may never ever have used but that's okay be kind to yourself after you decluttered all your life you have started to think mindfully about your life and then it's tempting to judge everyone else around you it's not always intention uh, instead try to encourage but not preach inspire but not judge and the sixth point being embrace multi-purpose tools instead of getting so many products uh, for each and every job I would like to get a uh, um, single product which does many jobs uh, which obviously saves lot of time and lot of money the seventh point being digitize everything so paper is the biggest clutter in the house i know there are a lot of magazines newspapers and the pamphlets books and everything instead i would love to get audio books or ebooks instead of books but sometimes i do like to get books um, which i wanted to keep with me all the time that time i'll go ahead and just buy i highly suggest you to keep decluttering those pamphlets newspapers and all those things from your life and sometimes I would like to keep all the bills and everything uh, digitally in my phone instead of keeping the clutter. Eighth point being choose renting over ownership. Instead of buying each and everything, I would love to get some of my books from the library. Uh, it may be cost effective as well. You can get a wide variety of books as well. But uh, for my kids, sometimes I used to keep some books with us all the time. That time I'll go ahead and buy. But some of the books we just study for some time and just we don't feel like reading for the second time. That time I'll just go ahead to the library this same thing applies for some other products as well like if you take camping things you will use once in a while we don't need to buy everything we can rent it over instead of ownership ninth point being visualize visualizing is such a great way to achieve your goals 
by visualizing you are creating a mental map in your mind by creating a mental map obviously you will be working towards it visualize how your space wanted to be visualize how it you wanted to declutter visualize how your wardrobe wanted to look visualize how your clean space will give you a happiness visualize everything you will just work towards it and you will finally end up doing it and the final point being getting rid of emotional clutter so minimalism is not only about uh, decluttering the things or decluttering the materialistic things it's not only about physical it is about emotional things as well keeping your mind free from all those unwanted things or unwanted junk is also a part of minimalism try to do that do let me know how you like this video thank you for watching